Welcome everyone. As many of you already know, on Friday the 4th of June 2021, two Thai Indian billionaires were reportedly found dead in a swimming pool of a five-star resort on the Thai island of Koh Tao, often referred to as Death Island. Some of the reported details have changed over the last few days, and in this video I will provide some of my thoughts about this latest tragedy within a string of tragedies for which this island is infamous. The deceased were described in some initial reports as being Indonesian or Thai Indonesian, but subsequent reports consistently refer to them as being Thai Indian. The name of the five-star resort is the Jamakira Resort, and the names of the victims are Rakeshwar Satchatama Kun, 59, and his wife Anshu, 55. Their 34-year-old son, Rakesh, found the bodies. The local police chief, Colonel uh, Kriang Krai, uh, Krai Kiao, changed his tune about the cause of death within just a few days. It was, was reported on Saturday the 5th of June in both Thai Visa Forum and the Daily News of Thailand that he, being the colonel, said it was most likely that one of the pair got into trouble in the pool whilst the other went into help and was unable to do so with the result that both subsequently drowned. Now in contrast, on Monday the 7th of June it was reported in the same publications that the uh, Colonel Krang Krai said that no definitive conclusions had yet been drawn. Now in the meantime, in between those two publications, the senior Scottish journalist Andrew McGregor Marshall pointed out on social media that the pool was only two metres deep at its deepest point, and uh, he added that even a non-swimmer would have been able to walk out. The publications uh, above state that it had been determined that the deepest part was 2.2 metres, however, they also said that another police colonel uh, Wirachan uh, Kun Chai Kao asserted that it was three metres deep at its steepest point. Now it would be nice to uh, actually get some definitive answers on the um, depth of the uh, pool and perhaps if any of you viewers uh, know how deep it was at the deepest point you can leave some comments below um, to enlighten all of us. Now I find the initial explanation from uh, Colonel Krankry to be most unlikely as did many other observers. Firstly, the pool itself is very large with a wide, uh, shallow end that appears gradually to become deeper at a, very, uh, at a very narrow end. Now, adult swimmers will simply keep away from the deep end. Now, I'll just show you an image that the journalist Andrew McGregor Marshall published. Hopefully you can see that clearly. This is an image of the pool itself. And you can see in the foreground, this is the shallow end, and it uh, gets deeper towards the far end, which is actually very narrow, and that seems to be the area where the bodies were found. One report said that the wife was found in uh, floating in or was in one meter of water. And this is one of the pictures that was depicted in. Um, uh, an online news publication and one of the things which I'll be pointing out is um, the things like the umbrellas and the chairs and the tables and the towels in the background there uh, which are basically you know within arm's reach of someone who might want to use those as a, uh, a lifeline for someone who, who might be struggling in the pool. There's another image you can see lots of chairs and tables and umbrellas and here's a third image you can see this is the far end the deep end where the bodies seem to have been retrieved from so secondly um, I say that there were life-saving objects all around the pool that could be improvised to act as a lifeline between a spouse who happened to be on the edge of the pool and one who was out of their depth these objects included, as I've mentioned, towels, tables, chairs, umbrellas, and lounges. Thousands of people have been leaving comments on social media in the last few days about the island's ongoing problem with CCTV cameras that are very conveniently 
out of order at critical times when a tourist dies or is attacked. Many remember how the footage from the AC bar was unavailable, this being the bar where David Miller and Hannah Witheridge were drinking just before they were murdered. CCTV footage from the Fishbowl Beach Bar showing the paddy diving instructor Santy Cockpool slash open the neck of a Scottish tourist on Saturday the 15th of August 2020 was never made public either. The darkest and wittiest tweet that I have seen about the CCTV footage in the last few days comes from uh, a, a person who describes himself as Goo, G-O-O, and it's at Goo, underline Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T. And he said in a very witty way, wanted, CCTV engineer for Kotal, challenging job. Just fix the, fix the intermittent fault in all CCTV systems on the island. The fault seems to always coincide with critical events. So some investigation as to the source of the said fault may be required. So that was his tweet and uh, very dark but very witty. And it is worth keeping in mind that the resort was not a two star or a three star or a four star resort, but a five star resort where the CCTV cameras were not working. Now there were explanations given in the media to the effect that oh, because it uh, there'd been so little, so little business from tourists at the time, they didn't maintain the CCTV um, cameras. But it seems um, all a bit odd for um, you know a five-star resort. Now I've got links in the description below um, regarding that diving instructor's attack. Um, now fortunately, uh, Paddy has expelled that diving instructor, Santi Cockpool, and his employer, who had been um, Bands Diving Resort, uh, fired him shortly after that attack as well. But uh, I've got videos uh, uh, in the description below about those attacks. So um, that's something which um, I hope that you can all have a look at. And um, also, if you found this video at all interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any constructive comments to make, I know I get plenty of trolls, but if there are any constructive comments, please leave a comment below. I do read all of them. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please um, subscribe because quite often on this channel, I do have uh, information about deaths and crime on Kotal that is not necessarily covered in the mainstream media or is not necessarily covered very well. But in the meantime, I thank you very much for watching and have a pleasant day. Keep safe. Bye for now.